Hey, it's Ben here, and here we're gonna have a look at how we get a video file into Audacity so we can just edit the audio. So this will be useful if you wanted to create a podcast conversation within Audacity using Microsoft Teams as your method of recording. So you can do your conversation and your meeting in Microsoft Teams and then export out a video and bring that video into Audacity. And there's a few different steps to go through when we do this. So we're gonna join this meeting. We'll allow Teams to use the microphone. We'll check our devices here. I'm using one of these little smart mics and also my built-in FaceTime camera uh, for my camera. We'll hit join now. Once we're into the meeting, then we can come to the three little dots here and we can start recording. So basically, it's going to record my microphone and also any other people in the meeting's microphone and video in the meeting as well. So we'll dismiss this and basically we'll record for a few seconds here just to give us enough time to export out a video of a reasonable length. So we've got about 33 seconds, 35 seconds of recording. We'll come to more actions. We'll stop the recording. And basically, Microsoft Teams is going to give us a file once we hang up the call. So we'll come out of the meeting here. And you can see it's saving the recording here. And I can come to the three little dots at the top of my recording here. And I can get the link or I can open it up. And then I can come and download the video. It's going to download it to my downloads folder on the Mac and open it up in QuickTime Player. So we can see here that it's an MPEG-4 file. So now we're gonna go into Audacity. We'll come down to the dock here, open up Audacity. And once this is open, we can go to our desktop here. And I'm gonna go to the Downloads. And you can see we've got the meeting recording here. We'll drop this into our desktop for this example. And basically, any audio that we can import into Audacity, we should normally be able to drag it across and import it. So you can see here, basically what Audacity is telling us is we need to add the optional FFmpeg library to be able to import that audio. So I'm gonna run through how to do that. So we're gonna to come to Audacity and Preferences, and we'll come into the Libraries. And basically we need to download the FFmpeg library, which you can see here. So we'll press download. We're downloading the Mac version. You can also download the Windows or the Linux version. So we'll click here. And we're gonna to go to the installing FFmpeg for Mac options here. And we're gonna to go to the recommended package installer. So we'll go to the download page. And we'll scroll down to the FFmpeg for Mac OS X. So we're gonna download FFmpeg here for Mac. I'll allow that download and then we'll drop down to the installer and continue through this. We'll install this and close this. We'll move the installer to the bin and then we'll come back to Audacity. So when we click locate here now, you can see Audacity has automatically detected a valid FM MPEG library from using the installer. And so if you want to locate them manually, we'll hit no. So it has this install, we can click OK. And now when we drag our file across, it's going to import that audio. So now we can come in, we can edit inside Audacity, the audio to that video file. So we can trim things down, modify things down. Obviously this is not editing the video as well. It's just editing the audio to that video. So this is not useful if you actually wanna edit a video version of your podcast. This is just if you wanna edit the audio only. And then obviously once we're done here, we've done all our edits, we can export out in any of the formats you can see listed here, such as MP3, WAV, OGG, and so on and so forth. So that's how to get an MPEG-4 video file into Audacity so you can just edit the audio. Hope this is useful. If you have any questions about this, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.